In this website visitor increase website traffic free video, you'll discover how to increase visitors to a website. Keep watching. Yeah, so you spent so much time and you're pretty bummed that no one's finding your website. So SEO takes a ton of time, right? Mm -hmm. It's not, not something you can do today and you're gonna start getting traffic right, tomorrow. Right. But if you have all this great content but bad SEO, no one's gonna find it. Website visitor increase. Increase website traffic fast. How to get traffic to your website. All right, so I've got this website. And I've made it all super pretty. It's got mm -hmm. cool animations. How do we get traffic to it? Yeah, so you spent so much time and you're pretty bummed that no one's finding your website. Well, the first thing you need to do is you need to put content on your website. So if you don't have articles, if you don't have a reason for people to be continually coming to your website, mm -hmm. you need to give them a reason. So start publishing content regularly. Start a blog. It's the easiest thing that you can do. You can post whatever cadence you want, whether it's once a week, twice a week, three times a week, four, five, six times a week. I don't know. You pick what works for you and just start putting content out there. Then people will start finding it and then subscribing and coming back and back again. All right, and as a bonus, we actually dove pretty deep into content creation and content marketing. We'll throw the link right over there. But uh, talking about the cadence and the series, how do we really keep things organized and consistent? The easiest thing you can do is create a content calendar. It's a place where you can put all of your posts, all of your ideas in one place, and then you can see, okay, I need to write these 10 articles and they're gonna post on these days. Perfect, so we have the content created. Content is king. Mm -hmm. Now, should it just live on the website? What else should we do with that content to build traffic? So the easiest thing that you can do is once you already have tons of content is go publish it everywhere. 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 So for example, if I have a blog post and I took great photographs and it's five tips on how to be awesome, you know, I should show the world and other places on YouTube, Pinterest, Twitter, Instagram, hey, Maybe I should share some of those five tips on those other places because I have followers. There are lots of people out there that don't just follow you on your blog. So you need to get that content out. There's people on Pinterest who don't even know you exist. So you need to make sure that you create a nice little Pinterest banner and it links back to your website because people will be searching and they'll find you and they'll become one of your new followers and readers. I like that. So that, that's super important. You create a banner for Pinterest and you create a you repurpose that content for Instagram. Mm -hmm. Don't just copy pasta everywhere, mm -hmm. right? You have to make it for that platform. Yeah. Like Twitter, keep it super simple, super short. Include Instagram, one of the tips. Imagery is everything, especially the five photos, right? Make sure it's for that audience because they're there for a reason. Like if I'm on Instagram, I'm not. I want to see imageries and things like that. I don't. I always don't want to just see text. Yep. For YouTube, you basically have a script already written with that piece of content. So just right. get in front of a camera and share those five tips and published to the YouTube world. There it is. And then you put little micro content everywhere else mm -hmm. on YouTube and then back to your website, yep. just repurposed. It's like, it's like a circle. Just be everywhere and share. Yep. Share it all. All right, so we're repurposing content. We're putting it on social, we're putting it on our website, we're putting it where our followers are. But what we haven't brought up was email marketing. Yeah. Now, a lot of people say email marketing is dead. Don't use it. It's in the past. Everything's social. What's the value behind email marketing? First and foremost, people who are saying email marketing is dead. No, no, no. Email marketing is still alive and well. The great thing about email marketing, it's really one of the only places where the algorithm, like all these algorithms out there that hide your content and make it so people who are supposedly following you can't find it, you own that list. And so when you send an email, they will see your email. So that's a great way to get your content in front of the eyeballs of people who've indicated, like literally they've signed up to follow updates from you. So with email marketing, there's lots of different things that you can do. You can do a newsletter. You can just, anytime a new post, it automatically sends an email to anyone. Whatever you want, just go and get in front of your audience through email. What are some of your favorite newsletters? Like go check your inbox right now and just look. Like you're following businesses and there's a reason. And what's a, a super great point is you don't always read those right, messages, right. but you still see that brand constantly, Yep. right? Keeping that awareness going. When they see that email from you, sometimes they're gonna click, they're gonna go back to your website and that's gonna increase traffic to your site. And just to add on to that, uh, we talked about it in earlier videos, not to sell, 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 you wanna tell, tell, tell. And when you're creating your email marketing newsletters, you want to add value, whether it's your blog post or content, don't always be an offer to buy this because they're going to get just unsubscribed immediately. Website visitor increase. Increase website traffic fast. 
So what are some other options we can do to help build some traffic to our site? Yeah, so we've done a ton. We've built our own content. We've shared our content on all of our social channels and right. all these different places. We've gone to our email list. Now it's time to go to other people's websites. Out into the wild. Yes, the, the wild, wild west of sites that you do not own yourself. So you don't control it, called guest posts. So basically, we know how hard creating content is. It's it's time consuming, you have to edit it, you have to draft, you have to come up with all these ideas, and you're an expert, and maybe you've already written about the things that you're an expert about so many times over, and your audience knows that, but maybe someone else's audience would benefit from learning from you. So guest blogging is going to someone else, maybe in your niche or a different niche, and saying, hey, I would love to write an article for your for your audience, here's what I was thinking. Mm -hmm. And what that does is you create very useful content. And then the most important is that somewhere in your bio or in that article, you have a link back to your website so that these new readers can find you and then go to your website, visit and follow you from there. Not only that, that also builds backlinks, right? Yep. So that helps your SEO and mm -hmm. increases that traffic, which is what this video is about. That's perfect because that ties into SEO. Getting more traffic to your site means appearing on search engines. Mm -hmm. So if you aren't even appearing on the first page, you're basically dead. No one goes past the first search page of Google or any of the search engines. So you need to work on your SEO, which is your search engine optimization. So that way people, when they're searching for your keywords or your mm -hmm. products or services that right. you show up and they visit your site. We actually just did a video all about this. You can check it out right here. It's all the basics of SEO. SEO is so big, make sure to check out that video. But if you have all this great content, but bad SEO, no one's going to find it. So you really got to work on your SEO to increase your traffic. Right. And what really helped me understand backlinks and something that I deal with a lot is you can think of backlinks almost as like follows or likes on your posts on Instagram or wherever else. The more likes you get, the more people are going to see it. So those backlinks are just likes for your website. Mm -hmm. So SEO takes a ton of time, mm -hmm. right? It's not, not something you can do today and you're gonna start getting traffic right, tomorrow. Right. What are some things that if we need that instant gratification, like I'm a millennial, I need to see it now. What yep. are some things that I can do to get that instant traffic? Yep, like you said, SEO is building a relationship with Google, so it does take time. It's like we're dating Google. We have to take them on all these dates, <laughs> month after month, week after week. And so it really does take six or 12 months to really have very, very strong SEO results if you're consistently putting in the efforts. Mm -hmm. But if you need traffic now, there are things that you can do right now to get- Right now? Right now <laughs> to get the traffic that you need. It's called <laughs> ads. So ads on search engines are an easy way to have your website pop up at the top of the search results. Mm -hmm. But the problem with it is that it's pay to play. So if I have a thousand dollar ad budget, every time that someone clicks that ad, it gets subtracted from my budget. And eventually, whatever the rate is, when my budget's gone, my website, poof, it's it gone. no longer appears on the search result. But ads do work. We love Google. That's why we use it every single day, multiple times per right. day. So people love Google and they do trust the ads. So if you need people to buy your product right now, you might want to look into a PPC campaign to get that traffic. Right, that pay-per-click. And Google's not the only place you can do it. I'm sure you've scrolled on Facebook or on Instagram mm -hmm, or mm -hmm. Twitter and you've seen the ads there too. Like you need to be where your audience is. Like Google's probably the most relevant because people are searching for those exact terms. So you're gonna get that instant and click. But as far as brand awareness and just random clicks to the site, those social media platforms are yep. probably pretty good too. Speaking of social ads, social ads can be very targeted because they know everything about your demographics, what you like, everything. what you don't like. It's a bit scary. <laughs> all right, so we're doing all these things to build traffic to our website, but how do we know what's working? Analytics. So if you do not have Google Analytics installed on your website, you need to stop and go install it right now because it has so much information about who's visiting your website, when they're visiting your website, how long, what pages they're visiting, when they're leaving. It's so much information and it will help you understand which of your articles that you spent a lot of time creating mm -hmm. are getting the most traffic, where they're coming from, what search terms people are searching to find those articles. And so you'll be able to see very quickly what are your top performers and what are your duds. And so you can stop working on the things that aren't working and building more content that people are actually searching for. So Google Analytics, you could do a whole video just on that. There's master courses just on Google Analytics. But even just having the basic installation will give you enough information so you can continue building content that your audience wants, which will bring more traffic. And then to add on that, I'd probably recommend setting up Google Webmaster Tools just so you can see where your organic search traffic's coming from, because you can see search terms, how often people are viewing it, if they're clicking it, things like that, kind of piggybacks on that mm -hmm. Google Analytics. Yep. 
All right, guys, I hope this video was helpful for you and that you have actionable tips that you can start today to start increasing traffic to your website. I'm curious, let me know in the comments below. What is one thing you're gonna start doing? Are you gonna build content, work on an email list? Let me know. I know what I'm doing, creating video content. Nice. Awesome. So make sure you like and subscribe and ring the bell if you wanna see when our next videos are coming so you get it first. This has been The Journey, signing off. Thanks for watching this website visitor increase website traffic free video. If you'd like a free website, click the link below this video now.